हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज पार्ट फाइव ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर सॉल्यूशन क्लासिकल डायनेमिक्स डी एस ई पेपर वन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर डिब्रुगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी ओके सो यू से वी हैव ऑलरेडी सोल्व अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एज इन फोर एज देर देर टू क्वेश्चन वन इज ऑलरेडी सोल्व देन वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देर वॉज टू क्वेश्चन देर वेर टू क्वेश्चन राइट फर्स्ट इन एज same question number either you have to solve the first one or the second one so first one we have already solved in the previous previous part now we going to uh, start solving from the second part or 4h okay so before we start please subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button also share with your friends since for me to create new content for you and don't forget to hit the bell icon right so and one more thing if you want to follow me on insta tari oza lekhajit One twenty-three. This is my Insta ID. You can follow me on Insta, right? So let's discuss the Doppler effect for uh, from the four vector perspective. So I have already made uh, one video on this topic. The link is in the description box. Go and watch. Okay. So I have written question number four eight. Then uh, I have provided the link. Okay. Then now define four vector. so what is the definition of four vector here is the definition of four vector so this is question number uh, 4i this is 4i answer right so a vector in the form of uh, uh, sorry in four dimensional uh, minkowski space that uh, hope you know what is minkowski space that vector is called four vector it has four components okay and it has four, uh, components uh, you know transform from one frame to another uh another similar to lorentz transformation and four vector if this is a four vector amu okay in four dimensional space that means three will be x y z components another component fourth component will be time component here a1 a2 a3 these are x y z components and a4 is the time component here which can be represented in this form so this a this bold a represents uh, the you know vector rep uh, with these three components x y z right and uh, this i a this represents a4 which says the time component uh, i a t is written here so and uh, you know the you, you can use the lorentz transformation as shown here uh, if suppose the same uh, vector a mu is a uh, in one frame for another frame it is suppose m u dash then it can be transferred uh, you know using lorentz transformation this is the lorentz transformation right so what is the next definition asked here uh, rest mass energy so what is rest mass energy let me write here so the rest mass energy the energy the energy uh, that is that is stored inside a stationary particle as a result of as a result of its mass its mass is called is called rest mass energy right this is called rest mass energy now you see uh, the rest mass of this particle when it is at rest if its mass is suppose m then rest mass is given by if you uh, convert this mass into energy then you you going to have this amount of energy mc square where c is the speed of light right so that's why we can write uh you know if m is the rest mass of a particle then its rest mass energy rest sorry just wait rest mass rest mass energy 
is given by E equal to m c square okay and c is the speed of light right so what is the next uh, definition next we need to define world line world line okay world line so here is the definition so this is the definition of world uh, sorry this is world point this is world line so here you see uh, a physical event in minkowski space which is four dimensional space des described by a point with four coordinates this is the point represented by a four coordinates one is x component or y component z component then x4 is the time component where x4 is ICT this point is a uh, four space called world point and in this space the motion of a particle right corresponding to a line known as world line right known as world that's how you can define just uh, in order to define the world world uh, line just write this complete definition okay so what is the next next we need to write po proper time definition of proper time the time measured by a clock and an observer who observes this time if you know if this clock is at rest relative to this observer that means if uh, they must be in the same frame of reference if this one is moving then this one is also moving in the same manner such that their relative motion uh, there is no relative motion between these two right so in that case the time observed will be called pro proper time okay proper time proper time so proper time is the time is the time measured by a clock that is that is at rest that is at rest relative to relative to the observer okay that is called proper time so hope you have understood this now our next question is define fluid liquid gas and establish the equation of continuity for fluid okay so let me define fluid liquid and gas so now let me write the answer to question number 5a question number 5a so when we say fluid that anything that can flow that is fluid it may be gas or liquid both okay a, a fluid is a state of matter that can that can flow right while uh, you see uh, remember liquid liquid and gas right are both both fluid right so now let me define liquid what is liquid definition is uh, definition of liquid is very simple you know that i don't think i need to explain liquid is a state of matter that has that has a definite a definite volume but no but no fixed sorry fixed c then uh, gas what is gas now you see liquid has definite volume but uh, gas has neither definite volume nor fixed shape okay that is gas so gas has no definite 
volume and no fixed and no fixed C. right that's liquid now let me find the uh, let me derive the equation of continuity so here i have considered a tube having a, you know different cross section varying cross section okay at this end the area of cross section is suppose a1 and uh, at the end q here area of cross section is suppose a2 right and liquid enters with the velocity suppose v1 and leaves the tube with velocity v2 let me consider that way now you see let me consider rho be the density of the liquid rho is the density of the liquid density of the fluid okay. that i have taken in the tube right so in that case you see we know that if you con if this is the velocity v1 is the velocity now you see uh, velocity is nothing but displacement by time right so here you see so it gives the displacement of the fluid per second right okay so if you multiply uh, suppose this is the displacement of the fluid within this tube per second then if you multiply this velocity with the area of cross section then you're gonna get this area volume right this volume per unit time that means volume per second volume of liquid enters per second that that's what you're gonna have if you multiply the volume of fluid enters per second with density then you're gonna get mass per second of mass of fluid per second enters in this tube right because you know mass is equal to volume into density because uh, you know density is equal to volume uh, sorry mass mass by volume right so mass is equal to volume into density here volume will be given by volume per second if this is mass per second this m represents mass per second then volume per second will be given by a1 into v1 uh, for this end right for this end so what we're going to have here so that's why what we have yeah so uh, mass of the fluid entering per second is m1 is equal to a1 v1 into rho that is density similarly m2 that uh, mass of the fluid leaving the pipe is m2 per second that is a2 v2 into rho right and as the liquid uh, as the fluid i have considered here incompressible so incompressible so that's why uh, that mass per second enters the tube that must go same amount of mass per second goes out so m1 must be equal to m2 who is going to give you this right and rho rho cancel that's how we have got a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 this is called equation of continuity right so hope you have understood this so now what is the next question that's going to be the last question so here is the last question question number five b write the expression for reynolds number so let me write that uh expression so now you see reynolds number uh, let me sorry question number 5b answer so reynolds number which is represented by k uh, of uh, you know for a fluid uh, flowing through a very small uh, you know thin tube with critical velocity vc and density of the fluid is suppose rho and diameter of the tube is d and viscosity of the fluid is uh, you know uh, eta then in that case this is the expression for reynolds number let me write the meaning of the terms so these are the terms uh, meaning of the terms i have used in this expression and one more part is there uh, explain the states of flow of liquid for lower and higher reynolds number right so instead of liquid in uh, you know for lower uh, reynolds number that should be laminar flow laminar flow and for higher reynolds number it will be turbulent okay so what we can write we can write this way just to give me a second just let me write here and increasing 
an increase uh, in the Reynolds number Reynolds number causes causes the flow the flow to change or transit transition from laminar to turbulent right so hope you have understood this so thank you for watching see you in the next video this uh, paper is completed now